Hey folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new battle for you. Uh, actually, it's a rather old battle. I had it uh, almost three months ago at this point. Um, it, my opponent was Mr. Psychic Eleven, uh, and this was one of the first battles I had with my Sam team um, right after I put it together. Um, so I believe I found him on um, AAX Abers Asylum, um, which is it's now defunct. Um, anyway, I lead off with my Rosary to go for the Sleep Powder, and it hits, and I'm really happy about that, except for the fact that, well, he got a Lumberry, um, and I'm like, oh man, that sucks, that sucks. And uh, he uses Fire Blast, so I'm hoping that maybe his Special Sleeper doesn't have the extreme speed, but unfortunately it does, and it is able to KO um, my Roserade. So I go ahead and send in my um, Jellison next, go, go ahead for the Ice Beam. Uh, he predicts that and switches out, switches in his Mesprit. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that Mesprit, so I go ahead and send out my Umbreon. Um, hoping that this guy's gonna just use psychic attacks. Uh, instead, um, Mesprit sets up uh, dual screens, and I'm like, oh, that's a dual screen. So I go ahead and, um, this is my uh, Cursing Umbreon, and I go ahead and have it use Curse. Um, it goes ahead and toxics me, which was really stupid. I mean, I've got Synchronize, I've got, uh, I've got Heal Bell, well, he doesn't know that I have Heal Bell, and the Lumberry. Um, so all that did was poison him, and he wasted a turn. Um, He's going to actually go ahead and uh, <clears throat> poison me the next turn. Um, and I'm just going to keep cursing because it's early enough in the poison cycle. There's no weather up, so Moonlight is still a safe recovery move. Um, and I really don't think this guy can do anything to me. And I know that he can't, you know, phase me out. But he goes ahead and goes for the U-turn to go out. And I'm like, what the heck? Why is it doing so much damage? He got a crit. And I'm like, oh, I cannot believe he got a crit. I was so upset. So, so upset here. Now, really, I should have gone for the heal bell, or should have gone for the recovery here. Um, but instead, I went for the, another curse. I have no idea why. And now, you know, one more uh, poison, a round of poison is going to kill me. I'm going to go ahead and go for the payback. I wasn't predicting the... Um, the, pay, the uh, substitute, um, and I obviously break his sub, considering I'm like a no, plus four, but anyway, my mech goes down far too early. Um, he predicts my uh, superpower with my Darmanitan. Uh, I really should have gone for the earthquake since his uh, balloon was popped, um, but I, I was actually predicting that he was going to send in Dragonite, um, so I actually should have gone for the rock slide then. Um, I don't know, superpower really was not a good move. Um, no matter how you slice it. But anyway, that lantern survives my uh, attack with just enough HP to set up a sub. Um, that's thanks to the fact that Superpower lowered my attack uh, one turn, or one level. Anyway, he goes ahead and behind the sub uses Hydro Pump. I predict the Hydro Pump, but Ringo doesn't have Water Absorb. Instead, it has Cursed Body. I can't remember whether I'd forgotten that. Um, but it didn't matter because, you know, it resisted anyway, so it's not like it's going to take too much damage. I get a crit, um, break his sub, and he goes ahead and goes for the charge beam. But it's down, he's down to such low HP that I'm pretty sure I can kill it this next turn, even after Leftovers Recovery. Um, charge beam on a lantern is actually quite an interesting move. Um, I might, I might consider it, because as you're about to see, you know, he gets a lot of boosts here. Yeah, so I surrounded like 1 HP, I'm like, oh man, are you serious? Um, gets me down to like 16 HP. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just go for one more surf. I'm almost positive I'll be able to kill it this turn. And I, so I go ahead and go for the surf, but unfortunately it's a case of min-max damage. And he survived with what couldn't have been more than 2 HP, and I was so upset. And now my Ringo, my um, Jellicent, dies, and that is just sad pandas. So I go ahead and go uh, send out my Darmanitan. I'm predicting a switch. I go for the rock slide. Uh, he doesn't switch, just leave it in for fodder and it dies. He goes ahead and sends out his Dragonite now. I go ahead and go for the Rock Slide again, hoping for the flinch. Um, it's super effective, not enough to take him out. He goes ahead and goes for the Earthquake, so this is a mixed knight set, uh, and probably pretty bulky. Um, and he does manage to take me out. Um, and so next up is my Uchikoma, and I should be able to deal with this guy quite easily, considering that um, I resist extreme speed and... Um, I'm floating in the air right now since he hasn't broken my balloon. And indeed, I get off my, uh... Yeah, I wasn't predicting him to use Fire Blast, but I'm pretty sure I could have survived that. Anyway, I take down his Dragonite, uh, after getting an agility. And so I'm hoping that I can take down his Mesprit now. Um, but it's looking like not so much. Uh, Meter Match is a whole, whole lot of damage. Um, and I'm... But it doesn't... Uh, the second one doesn't kill him because he got the Reflect up. And I'm like, oh man, are you serious? Anyway, finally dies, uh, and now he goes ahead and sends out his Machamp. 
and I go ahead and meteor mash this guy. Does less than I was expecting considering I was, I was at plus one, and he goes ahead and dynamic punches me, which hits super, super hard. It's going to be a two at KO. He breaks my balloon, but that's whatever. Um, and so now i got to switch out, and I go ahead and switch out into the only Pokemon of mine that's left, my uh, Zapdos, and he goes ahead and dynamic punches on the switch, uh, which is going to confuse me. Um, but, I, you know, I resist his, I should resist his attacks, and I'm hoping that I'll be okay. This is a, this is a uh, defensive, uh, physically defensive, uh, Zapdos, so even with Ice Punch, it doesn't, I'm pretty sure that's not half. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and go for recovery, uh, here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm just getting, I'm just getting lots of confusion, um, hacks here. But I do get the, uh, I do get the roost up, and I go back to pretty much full HP. He doesn't hit the stone edges me, but considering I've landed, it doesn't do that much. He must have not known that I, uh, carried the, um, carried the roost. Or maybe he just, you know, thought I would, uh, put myself into confusion again. Anyway, um, he goes ahead and subs again, um, and I'm just, this is going to be a stall battle um, at this point because, okay, luckily I snap out of the confusion, which is good. And I do, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to, no, I don't break his sub. Yeah, that, those, those subs are really, really strong right now considering I'm pretty sure the light screen is still up. Um, but yeah, so he's getting tons of leftover recovery action, and yeah, now the reflect goes, uh, now the reflect goes down, so the next turn the light screen will go down and my attacks might actually do some damage, which would be nice, but yeah. Um, I'm just hoping that Confusion doesn't screw me over, uh, and that I can take out this guy, because that's the only way I... that's the only hope I have of getting past this guy. Um, I really should consider carrying a Pokémon that uh, can really deal with Machamp. I don't think any of my Pokémon can. Um, well, I guess Jellison would, can do a fair amount to it. Um, but yeah, anyway, I survived with just a sliver of HP, and I'm just hoping that uh, I will survive this and get off the roost, and indeed I do. Um, and so, you know, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can stall this out. Dynamic Punch has really low PP, um, although he's now using lots of Ice Punches too. Um, and I'm just hoping that I can use up all his Dynamic Punches so that when I switch in Metagross, I don't have to worry about those. And I resist his other two attacks, um, so that's all nice and good. Uh, he goes ahead and stone edges me, and that is enough to take me out, unfortunately. And I'm just hope I, I wasn't keeping count. I wasn't sure whether he had any dynamic punches left. So I go ahead and send Uchikoma right back out. Go ahead and go for the meteor match because getting um, attack increases my only hope here. And indeed, I do get the attack boost. He goes ahead and dynamic punches me. Um, I survive with eight HP, and now it's going to be all down to confusion hacks or no. Um, so, yeah, um, Meteor Mash hits, uh, and it does a whole lot of damage, and note that that's no crit, um, but hit, it's not enough, Dynamic Punch kills me, and that is the battle. So, Mr. Psychic 11, great game, uh, PM me if you want to battle again, um, I should hopefully give you a better battle this time around. Uh, alright folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Peace out.